<sighs> Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. I don't know where I'm gonna start this vlog or how I'm gonna explain things to you guys but I just wanna say that I tried to convince Faragi not to have this conversation in public but obviously depending on what her decision is going to be it needs to be out there in public because then you guys will have a lot of questions and I think it's just better if I just let you explain everything. I really don't know why I'm doing this. I feel like people have to know this because um, in the future, whatever happens, I'm not gonna be just not on social media or not going anywhere outside or whatever. And many of you guys did guess what this was gonna be about, but I think I have to really talk to every single person out there one-on-one -on -one, and I need to let you guys know that it's very hard. The two decisions about this is something that really really traumatizes me and this is why first of all i want to let you guys know for those of you who don't know what i'm talking about it's about my hijab i'm not taking it off i just wanted to discuss with you guys it's very very hard some of you that watch us every single day have a lot of mixed opinions about the things that i do in my daily life with those opinions you also judge my husband and point fingers at him to how he's letting me get away with it and while i'm speaking you guys will be seeing a lot of comments popping up here and you might have a better understanding of the way i feel i have really thick skin and i can take a lot of criticism and i take criticism in a good way i try to help myself and i try to make things better i'm not an angel but now it's come to a point where i don't know why but these comments are like getting to my head they're making things even more harder people saying stuff like like, you should just take off the hijab why are you dancing or people saying stuff like why are you on social media if you wear a hijab why don't you pray why do you wear makeup why do you have fake nails on why are you chilling with your husband there's so many namadam around you that are men why are you hanging around them why are you wearing tight clothes why is that one ankle of yours even showing there's so many more different comments that I don't think I want to bring up but at the same time I've gotten a lot of love as well from many of you guys and a lot of girls tell me every single day that I inspire them in many ways and they love the way I wear my hijab but at the same time now like the ratio of good comments or people telling me good things to people criticizing me is almost the same before there were just like those few comments and I'm like you know what made myself into a stronger person by reading those comments and then they would make me laugh like how judgmental people could be but now it's come to a point that like I have to address this because it's going to affect the way I might live my life in the future like I don't know if I'm gonna take it off I don't know what my decision is going to be but between the two I've never for the last almost four years that I've worn my hijab i've never had to juggle between the two decisions of wearing it or not wearing it and never being on social media like i've never had to juggle i want to add something to that i explained froggy that both ways it's like a battle that you're going to lose because if you take the hijab off people are going to be like oh my god she's such a bad person because you took the hijab off if you continue to wear it and you do things that you love people continue to say well look you know she's dancing with the hijab she's doing this with the hijab so there's no winning here the thing is Either i chose to wear the hijab because i wanted to make myself a better person i chose to wear the hijab because i wanted that to be my identity if i don't wear it it will take away from my identity because that's who I am and it brings out the inner goodness of me right but at the same time people who wear hijab are expected to be angels we are expected to be perfect we can't be on social media we're supposed to be praying all day like you know in the corner of the house we can't dance with it on we can't be singing songs we can't put makeup on what is it with wanting to look or feel good or put something on your face that you like on your own face and the comments that I'm getting is mostly from girls girls who don't wear hijab job girls who wear 10 times more makeup and you guys might say no well you wear so much i like wearing makeup there are days that i don't wear makeup and he's sitting right here he's seen me every single day whenever i come over before we start vlogging that i have to get ready just to make myself look presentable even the days i don't like wearing makeup but when i like wearing makeup i put it on my own face i like wearing makeup he married me not for my makeup he married me for me he knows what i look like without makeup and i don't look scary without makeup i just look like another girl and right now too i look like another girl to you guys it's because i put my life out there publicly i need to be perfect 
You know, that girl Froggy, since she's public and she's trying to show an image of Islam, she needs to be perfect. And you know, one thing I want to add to that is you guys have to remember one thing. We're not saying that by wearing the hijab and if you're dancing or you're doing music and all it's this good. stuff, it's good or if it's right or not. We're not saying any of that. What we're saying is just because she wears the hijab doesn't mean if she decides to dance or if she's listening to music, now she's the worst human being. I mean, I want you guys to just think about yourself, your own family members. I can promise you guys how many weddings have you gone to where you may have even danced your family members They danced then you could say well, this is just our family. Well, guess what? There's a cameraman. There's somebody recording you There's other guests that you don't know There's many non-mahram people around you and on top of that many of you guys aren't even covering your hair But when it comes to froggy, it just seems like it's just so much easier because you're sitting behind a camera And you can put her down and trust me. I'm gonna say one thing to you. I've seen this woman struggle man I've seen this woman struggle so so much with negative comments to a point that I don't even know how she deals with that kind of hate. We have thick skin. We can take a lot of hate. You guys know a lot of people on social media are always trying to target and that's okay. You know, we've made our peace with that. But the thing is, this is something that's unacceptable. Because like you need to understand it from my perspective, right? If people are writing comments like, oh, if you're going to be dancing with the hijab or if you're going to be wearing makeup with the hijab, you might as well just go and kill yourself. So when I wake up in the morning, I have to record for you guys. Guys, or if I wake up in the morning and I just want to go outside I look at myself in the mirror and I have to put this on my head I don't want to put it on that's the sad truth you're getting so much hate from people look at the, look at the Pakistani actresses look at any Indian actors or actresses people that are Muslim that don't wear it and they dance they can wear whatever they want people don't say anything to them they can be doing whatever they want publicly and they don't get any hate and you know I've but if a girl ever... in a hijab who's trying her best is doing something like that you're putting her down if i was the one with no scarf let's just say you guys had never seen me with it on and i was dancing and flaunting my hair no one would have said a word whether there's 40 guys around or one guy around no one would have said a word why because in the dance competition sham's sister's there barney's there my sister's there all three of them are not wearing Nobody hijab. Nobody said anything. No one said a word about them that, oh, Sad. they're not Muslims. They come from a Muslim family. They know what religion is. They know what Islam is. They have faith in Allah. But how do they not get any hate? Why is it that the girl in the scarf is getting hate for trying? And on top of that, you know, a lot of people, when they start pointing things at Froggy, oh my God, she's dressed up in clothing that's a little too fitted. That's so haram. That's so inappropriate. You know, she's still covering herself up. We're not justifying that wearing tight clothes is okay, but what I'm trying to say is that I'm she's trying. still trying. She's still trying, trying to cover herself up. Look so at the people hard. that are honestly not wearing much clothing out there. You know, movies and all over the place. You guys follow people Muslims. on Instagram. Muslims. Guys follow people on Instagram. They're like a Muslims and they're just doing it too. But it's okay. You continue to show love to them because you don't see them in the same way. But as soon as and you so see I them, know there's my fans out there that actually love me for me and whether I have it on or not have it on they will love me for me but there's also that huge amount of people god forbid but if i do take it off in the future which i don't want to because of just society that just want to put you down it's like oh my god she wore it and she took it off there's individuals out there on social media that have taken it off and i feel truly sorry for them and the comments that i see all around social media they break my heart women who actually try and they try to be good muslims they get hate but women who don't try at all they don't get hate i mean you don't see my entire life on social media so when you ask me how are you praying with nails on how are you praying with makeup on you need to understand if I'm shooting and I have these things on it's because I'm shooting and I want to have them on I don't sleep with makeup on I don't wake up with makeup I don't shower with makeup I don't pray namaz with makeup the point she's trying to make is whether you wear the hijab or you don't wear the hijab we're not saying that non-hijabi is better than hijabi or hijabi is better than non-hijabi. Everybody is going to be judged on their own. It's about who you are inside as a person. So if she wears the hijab, stop comparing her to someone that is way better Muslim. Because there's many people that are 100 times better Muslim than me. There's than me, than I, him, than I miss guys. my prayers. If I miss my prayer, right? Let's just say I don't wake up for Fajr or I don't pray Isha. Imagine every single time that happened, somebody was able to comment that you're the worst human being, you should go die. That's the kind of comments. I'm not exaggerating, guys. Well, I'm not exaggerating. These are the kind of comments that she has to deal with every single it's day. Not, not even, just comments. It's not it's comments. People it's... actually have said this to her. It to is... my face. And there was another individual, not going to mention who, because 
I have that much respect not to but she walked past me and she was wearing really tight tights and she was wearing a t-shirt that had a really low neck and whatever was showing was showing but she was a Muslim because while wearing that t-shirt that was really low on her neck she also had a necklace that said Allah on it I am not judging anyone but you guys know for yourselves how that works but there was someone taking photos with me and she was not willing to take photos with me so I was like okay you know what maybe she doesn't know who I am she walked past me and she's like it's not makeup maybe you should just go be up and she said something really disgusting for someone like me and she said why don't you just go make like videos with no clothes on basically that's what she said and she just walked past me and I pretended like I didn't hear her but that day was probably one of the most horrible days of my life because I regretted wearing it I regretted coming on social media while wearing it I regretted talking to anyone while wearing it I regretted anything I did in life and I really just wanted to be alone those moments of my life why am I wearing it I want to wake up in the morning and I'm willing to just walk out of my house without worrying about what I'm wearing because think about because this because people get less judged that way if Froggy never wore the hijab and you guys just always saw Froggy without the hijab and she was just walking around nobody would say anything but now the thing is you're in a situation if you stop wearing the hijab people are gonna say bad things if you continue to wear the hijab they continue to bad things so what is it that you want to do? I don't know I I don't know like I the sad part is it's a lose-lose situation but I'm gonna tell you one thing you gotta follow your heart because at the end of the day like wearing Allah's the hijab you. makes me happy at the end of the day Allah is the only one who could judge me but at the same time even if I was to ever take it off and never be on social media again I still gotta walk outside my house I still have to meet up with family I still have to go places I can't just be closed in my house and in a jail because of what society says at the same time if I ever took it off people would get over it but if I continue to wear it it's like the racial of hate and love is like the hate is like going up there and the love is coming down here and then if someone says anything the love people come back and they're like oh no 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 she's doing a good job but then the hate continue going up and right now I'm wearing a dress but it's like oh cover your chest too cover like it's not easy for me to just be like this walking around all day like that I choose to wear what makes me comfortable I am not a perfect hijabi if I was I would be walking around not perfect God. no Muslims, one's man. perfect Muslims I don't pray five times a day I do do my nails I do wear makeup up and sometimes I miss my prayer but at the same time Allah is the one to judge me on my prayers no other Muslim told me that you have to pray otherwise you're going to hell because no Muslim is taking me to hell I'm taking myself to hell or I'm taking myself to heaven no one has the right to judge me on that right now I'm in a situation where it's like I'm holding on to a seher who wears a hijab and she's falling off a cliff and I'm trying to pull her up and wallah that's the most straightest way that I could put it and it's really really hard I have to go into my comments and delete a lot of comments why? Because I don't want any kids or any other people coming onto my channel and seeing dirty, disgusting comments, which makes them feel like crap that what am I watching? And this girl is not doing anything wrong and influencing other kids to do things like that. I do have to put words in blocked comments and I will continue to put words in blocked comments because I do not want comments like that, whether it's under my husband's channel or under my channel. I don't like seeing those kind of comments, but guess what? I know they're there. Would that we're just gonna say goodbye. I hope whatever decision Froggy makes, you guys support her. Inshallah. I'll see you guys tomorrow.